wish I had known about engineering at high school. I had no fathom that there was such a field where you could dream up ideas, whether they be electronic, mechanical, buildings, bridges, whatever you wanted to do. And there was a field where you actually learn how to do it, the proper methodology, the calculations, so it doesn't fall over, it doesn't blow up, and then actually build it. Engineering is about brains, it's about problem solving. It's no longer spanners and grease like it used to be. Every new bridge, every new building, every new electronic device is somebody's imagination has thought up that idea. And their knowledge has put it through from an idea to an actual theory, practice, product, whatever they're going to have it with. Um, but it relies on the fact that someone's had that idea initially. If you ask every engineer, mm, why do they do engineering, they say, well, I kind of liked taking my toys apart when I was a kid and I loved watching MacGyver. I started realising that maths had a use, it had a real application in the world, and suddenly it was solving problems which I was seeing every day. To me, the most exciting thing that's coming up in the area that I work in, which is 3D printing, so printing parts layer by layer by layer, is printing biological parts. This means we'll be able to print you out a new kidney when you, when you need one. Not only print you out a new kidney, but a kidney that's customized to your body, that's not going to get rejected, and is perfect for you in every way. Well, what is it that's so cool about engineering is the fact that you can use your knowledge to help people. And I know it sounds funny, because a lot of people associate, oh, I want to help people so I'll become a nurse. I want to help people so I'll become a doctor. I want to help people so I'll become an ambulance driver. But people don't understand the range of possibilities that you have when you become an engineer to actually help the world. A lot of research we do is in direct response to industry coming to us saying, we have a problem in this area, can you help us? Um, we do theoretical research as well, but that theoretical research always has an outcome in mind, whether it's a product, whether it's a service, whether it's solving a problem for industry. It's very, very practical, practically based. The future of engineering, I believe, will no longer be confined probably to Earth. Years to come, we're going to run into either major problems with resources, with pollution, and we might start looking somewhere else. Um, it's not outside the realm of imagination to believe that we could survive outer space on another planet. I think to me that the key message I would give to young people of today is you have to learn to think for yourself. And to me the whole point of going to university is not to think like everybody else, but it's to think for yourself, to think in innovative ways, to push the boundaries. If you're not doing that, then why go to university?